wide open.
this all a bit much? Any decent lunatic would have quit after Mexico. Jetstream Sam. I heard you drop the land director in half. Old habits die hard, eh, Jack? But now here you are. The child soul. Fighting for the children. <laughs> Please. What do you really expect to accomplish here? Play savior to a bunch of brains? And what? Earn a medal? Think about it, Jack. Africans would bury the first one. But you are a man of a mission, aren't you? Gonna fix everything. Just you and your little sword there. Solve everything with violence. Is that it? My sword is a means to an end. To protect those you'd prey on. Really? Let me ask you, all those cyborgs you've killed up to now, maybe they weren't kids, but they were people. You ever think about them? When you're chopping them into hamburger? They're adults. They made their choice. Sure they're adults. Sure they signed up for this. Right on the dotted line of their BMC contract. Usually they're no strangers to war. In fact, many times they already lost a limb or two. Many times they were out of work and starving on the street. So yes, they sign up for surgery to fight God knows where. How else would you provide for your family when your country's embroiled in civil war? Pain receptors shut down, pumped full of fear-inhibiting nanomachines and sent right into the blender? Your blender? But they made their choice, right? Open your eye and see, Raiden. I've seen plenty. Then listen. Those battlefield emotions that the Nano suppress. Listen to them. What are you talking about? Shh. There he is! Kill him! Can we take him? What's wrong? The way he killed all the others? Oh god. Let me die. Let's do this! I have a family! This isn't fair! Little punk! Listen closely now. Die! This, this life! I watch my wife and son die. This is all I have left. You ain't shit! Goddamn, I need to my legs. <laughs> I need a job. Stop! I didn't know what I was signing up for. Is something the matter, Raiden? <laughs> I've nearly saved enough to bring Mama to the stage. Finish him off! Whatever it takes to be free of this torture. Stop it! What am I even fighting for? Hold on!
as opposed to AIs? You're all the same, huh? You and your brothers. Manipulating mankind for our own good. It appears my statement has upset you. I apologize. Uh, no, it's... I know you're right. As for AIs, we adapt as we learn. Just as any intellect operates, man or machine, altering the course of mankind is not among my defined directives. I guess that's a relief. Samuel's behavior does not match established parameters. You know him? Affirmative. We served together on three previous missions. He proved most capable. You think highly of him? I have always found him... dependable. Until now. Scouting data for the next area. I'll patrol ahead. You follow. Raiden, your current emotional state appears highly volatile. I am sure you do not intend to abort the mission, but I suggest you avoid combat for the time being. How pleased you are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. My name is Monsoon, of the Winds of Destruction. Yeah, 
I guessed as much. Sides of your enemies? How easily you ignore the loss of life when it suits your convenience. So tell me, who saves the weak from the man who saves the weak? You're the ones exploiting them. You take advantage of their weakness. Of course they get hurt when you set them up as your human shield. Kill or be killed, Jack. Phnom Penh taught me that. Yes, you are the only one to crawl up and kill. War is a cruel parent, but an effective teacher. Its final lesson is carved deep in us. This world and all its people are diseased. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. Controlled by something means the DNA of the soul. They are the culture. They are everything we pass on. Expose someone to anger long enough, they become a carrier. And they greed, despair, wounds. Oh shit! Is that a mean? You can't fight nature, Jack. Wind blows, rain falls, and the strong prey upon the weak. <sighs> Sam tells me you see your weapon as a tool. Something that saves lives, a means of justice. Now there's a pretty mean. Exquisite. It spared you the burden of all the lives you take. Absolved you of guilt when you enjoyed it. That is, until the illusion was broken. Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. You have no choices to make, nothing to answer for. You can die with a clear conscience. You're right. About me, I mean. I knew something was off. After the Patriots, I thought I could walk off the battlefield and into a normal life. But here I am, surrounded by death, arguing philosophy with terrorists. I told myself this was about justice, about protecting the weak, but I was wrong. <laughs> then you admit it. I learned young that killing your enemies felt good. Really good. In America, my friends, my family, they helped me forget the devil inside. But who am I kidding? I was born to kill! <sighs> the bit about my sword, that means of justice stuff, I guess I needed something to keep the Ripper in check when I was knee deep in bodies. You? But you, all this, is a wake-up call to what I really believe. What I really am. What are you saying? I'm saying Jack is back. Doctor, turn off my pain inhibitors. What? This... this is madness! You... Do it! All right. Pain. This is why I fight. <laughs> Ah! 
<laughs> this is my normal. My nature. You've lost your mind. Just being nasty. <laughs> that nickname you love so much. Wanna know how I got it? Actually, why don't I give you a demonstration? I think it's time for Jack to let her rip! 